back on 2020, I think what will stand out the most to me is just how productive our teams were still able to be. Not even blinking an eye, still going out there every day. I mean, our teams had to learn new safety procedures. We had to understand how jurisdictions might change. We had to figure out how our design teams might be impacted, supply chains. They were going out there, they were adapting to everything that was getting thrown at them, you know, with them doing jobs that are already really, really hard. One of the biggest things that I think that we should all be proud of is we've all found new ways to uh, communicate. This is the amazing creativity to protect and, and create safe environments for our teams is one of the things that I think we are very lucky as a company that we have such amazing, talented, caring project leaders out there. You know, we are in a business where most of our communication wants to be done in groups. We overcame that challenge and we found new ways to communicate. Uh, we found new ways to hold meetings and we uh, have been able to continue to build and serve our clients. Well, one thing in 2020 I found pretty amazing was how our teams uh, found different and unique ways to give back to our communities, you know, communities we work in, communities that we live in. Love seeing those stories come in you know, during the course of the year. Well, our team was extremely resilient, you know, and they rose up in the face of adversity and and found a way to get things done when, when the whole world was changing. And we worked with each other, we worked with our employees, and we found the best possible solution for everyone involved. And I was able to be at home for important things that I got to see and help them with that maybe I didn't get the opportunity to in the past. We went for whatever that was, eight weeks. I would take my, my boys on a bike ride every single day, um, and I never would have been able to do that before. It does make you proud to be a part of a company that that uh, puts our employees first.